Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2005 Mercedes-Benz CL500. It's obsidian black with black leather interior and it's done just 115,000 kilometres since it was brand new in 2005. There weren't a lot of options. Um, with these 500s because, you know, for just shy of $300,000, they came with pretty much everything. It was the last of the W215 series, which came out in the year 2000. Uh, by 2005, uh, they came with things like a leather stitched steering wheel, wood grain steering wheel. This car's got a rear blind memory seats, electric seats, heated seats, and air-conditioned seats. It's got what I think is the best looking wheel on the 215 series, or in the sedan, the 220 series. A lot of people say, you know, Phil, how could this car have been nearly $300,000? Well, the first thing I'd say is it looks pretty good for a 13-year-old car. Um, you know, it's made from three or four different materials. <clears throat> the body, that is, so the guards are hard and plastic. The bonnet is aluminium, which helps for heat distribution. The roof is aluminium. <clears throat> it's also made from steel. These five-spoke wheels um, are strengthened. They've actually got they've actually got hollow spokes for weight, which reduces weight. Obviously, having the plastic guards in front reduce the weight of the car as well. I mean, look at the door. It looks like it's about one and a half meters long. <clears throat> Again. There's a lot of engineering which went into these cars. So when you open the door, if you're in a tight spot, it actually wraps around the front of the car. So if you look here, you'll see it hinge around the front of the car. You probably see best from the top. So see how it hinges around the front. So if you look here, you can see how it wraps around. So the good thing about that is that if you park in a car park, Oh, it's also got soft closed doors. So it closes itself if... So if you're in a parking spot and someone's come and parked right next to you and you can only open the door a little bit, you only have to open the door about that much to climb in. It's a four-seater. You can seat four adults comfortably. The car is in particularly good condition. There's a you know, little bit of rash around a couple of the alloy wheels which we'll have fixed. Parking sensors front and rear. It's been garaged, it's had two owners, first owner in Victoria, second owner in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. It's gun barrel straight down the sides. Um, I've driven it and I've driven a number of 215 coupes and 220 sedans. It drives absolutely perfectly. It's got the original two remote keys. All the tools are present. And you know, considering it's nearly $300,000 new, to be able to buy this car now for under $30,000 is remarkable. Another good thing about the 2005 model is it's uh, Bluetooth compatible. It's got the newer navigation with updated fiber optics um, some other features it comes with is automatic body control which keeps the car level when going around corners at speed and at the click of a button the car can go up by half a foot to I think almost as much as a foot if you need to clear a driveway or speed bump I mean you shouldn't need to use it all to go over a speed bump but if you're basically going to a steep driveway or something like that, it's certainly good to have. 
that's for your rear blind, that's your rear headrest, electronic stability program obviously, unlock lock, parking sensors. So this is the updated system, as I said. Let's have a look in here. Ah oh, yes, I can see it's got the updated. So you take that cap off and you can actually just fit a Mercedes um, Bluetooth. So this is a much clearer system. I think the year before, or a couple of years before, um, it actually even had a tape deck. So when you pressed eject, it gave you an option. You could either put a CD in, or if the screen went down, you could put a tape in the top. Um, clump control, I think I mentioned. It's got a leather dash. Gosh, the more I look at it, the more I like it, actually. It's, it really is a particularly good example. And to be able to buy these 05 models now for under $30,000 is particularly good buying. They are very, very reliable. The engine and gearbox are exceptional. You'll basically never have an engine with an engine or a gearbox in one of these. Another thing about the 05 model, it did come with the newer 7-speed transmission which gives you a lot more performance and better fuel consumption. If you go online, I mean, I've certainly seen them with well over 300,000 kilometres, so this has a long life ahead of it. Um, the car sits up very nicely. If you are looking at other cars, it's probably worth, you know, having a look at the car when it's cold because they can sit down at the front or back or side, which means that you've got a leak and a shock absorber. It's not the end of the world if you went and bought a brand new one you could be up for twelve to fifteen hundred dollars which in the whole scheme of things isn't that big a deal when you consider how nice a car it is I mean we sell a lot of these and we very rarely have to do them I'm talking worst case you know scenario um, but I know people have personally had these cars the 500s like this one for over 10 years and um, they've found this to be very reliable um, one person I know in fact who bought one an old one this was a 2000 model and um, they've done over 200,000 kilometers and they bought a much newer one but they actually hold on to the CL because obviously being a 2000 model with over 200,000 kilometers it's not worth a great deal and because there's nothing wrong with it and it's been a very reliable car for them. They've they've actually just they've kept it, which is what I would do once I got to that age. But uh, look, if you have any specific questions about this car, please give us a call. We're contactable on 029569 We can we're more than happy to talk to you about finance, or if you have any specific questions about this car, then we'd certainly be more than happy to help you. We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney, CBD and Sydney Airport. And we look forward to hearing from you soon.